Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Andrea. And in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the wedding collection by Kayali. We have Silk Santal and we also have Velvet Santal. If this is something you're interested in getting my unbiased, unpopular opinion about these fragrances, consider sticking until the very end. I do want to say it's not my first time with the house. I have a couple of fragrances in my collection. My favorite one is this Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli. I also have Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper and Deja Vu White Flower and some travel sprays. Don't have full bottles because I only bring things into my collection that I absolutely love. And these are a strong light and not a love for me. So that's why I don't have full bottles. I also had... Um, Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. Now that one I'm going to bring a full bottle soon into my collection. I really do love that one. That one's gorgeous. I ran through the travel spray in about two weeks. I'm going to start with the Wedding Velvet Santal 35. Standard Kayali packaging. Uh, notes on the back. The number on the front represents Hassan's age and also how many times it took them to make this fragrance. We have jasmine petals, tea leaves, white musk, cedar wood, benzoin, sandalwood. I know that right now everybody on YouTube is saying this is their favorite. This is my least favorite. Like I don't, I don't get it. Like I, as a woman, I do not want to smell like this. This just does not smell good to me. This reminds me of some kind of medicine. Vicks vapor rub uh, has a a strong alcohol vibe to it it's like it's just i don't know what it is and as a wedding fragrance i would not want my partner to smell like this um my husband could not smell like this on our wedding day it would have to be something totally different i would not want to smell this on him even if we were going out on a date I, that's just what it is for me and then as a woman absolutely not but I do want to say, you know, you do what you want to with your fragrances. You wear them how you want to, whenever you want to, wherever you want to, and how much of it as you want to. It's totally up to you. I get it. But this one, bottle is pretty, all that good stuff. The notes sound beautiful. I love tea leaves and fragrances to give it that fresh effervescent type feel to me. But this is just, I don't know. Something just does not work well with my skin chemistry. It's, yeah, it's just, it does not smell good on me at all. Uh, it smells like Vicks Vapor Oil. <laughs> it's just, it's just not good. So much so that I'm gonna send this one back. Velvet Santal 35 does not work for me. Only straight masculine. Smells like some kind of medicine, very medicinal, and it has to go back. I cannot keep this one. So the wedding, Silk Santal 36. The numbers for Mona's age, as well as how many times it took to make this fragrance. Uh, notes on the back, sparkling champagne, white freesia, pink praline. I don't know what pink praline is. Lush nectarine, sandalwood, sugar musk. For the pink praline, I can't really speak to that because I don't know what it is, how it smells, or what it, you know, what it does in a fragrance. From the notes of this one, I was so hoping it was going to be creamy, um, musky, um, sweet, soft, sensual. I had this whole idea in my head of how this fragrance was going to smell based off the notes. And it kind of let me down. Okay, so I'm not too happy with this collection at all. Very initial spray, you get that sparkling champagne, that effervescent type smell. That That is there. That is, that's why I, it's a top note. But in the middle is where the magic happens. Like you still have a little bit of that champagne there. The nectarine comes out and something real sweet. So it could be the pink praline or the white freesia, something. But something in the middle just pops out sweet and just so pretty. And then it dries down to just musk, vanilla, and sandalwood. <laughs> So it was a true letdown for me with this collection. I am so thinking about sending both of them back because we know with Kayali fragrances over time that when you let them macerate, they tend to get better. And that's what I'm thinking that this one will do. It will get better, you know, within about a month or so. I want to wear my fragrances now. I don't like the maceration phase. 
and um, fragrances. That's just something I don't like, but I know that it has to happen sometimes. But to me, every time I get a Kayali fragrance, I have to let it sit for a while before it actually does what I need it to do. I don't know if they're pumping them out too quick and not giving them time to sit before they ship them out. I don't know. But with this collection, I do feel like it was pumped out quickly. because Both of these have an alcohol vibe to me. I don't get that from none of the other fragrances that I have in my collection or have had in my collection from them. So a little disappointed in the wedding collection. I'm really thinking about sending both of them back because it's just not there it's just not what i was expecting and i hate that i could not go into sephora and smell them first because i know they're probably just trash to eat so i do hate to send them back but yeah they gotta go back it's this just not working for me now i do want to say this she did recommend layering the two and i do get that because when i did spray them together they're beautiful absolutely beautiful but i don't want to spend a hundred dollars and a hundred dollars to bring something together to make a fragrance that I'm going to enjoy and that I love. I love them together. Separate, absolutely no, and a strong like. Not even a strong like, it's just a like. Um, and I have to bring things in my, in my collection that I love. That's just me. I'm curating my fragrance collection now. I have to love you for you to be in my collection. If I don't love you, then you got to go. And I'm going to have to send these two back. So overall, my opinion is, would I wear this to my wedding? No. Don't want my husband to smell like this on our wedding day? Absolutely not. Are they both unisex? In my opinion, no. Straight feminine, straight masculine. Easy reach, absolute no go for me. Coming together, they're pretty. Longevity is about six to seven hours on skin. The scent bubble is really close to you. It's nothing that's gonna project and be out there in your face. And we don't always want that, but that's not what these fragrances will do. Um, they're gonna be close to your skin. That person has to be real intimate with you. Hence the wedding, I get it. Can't really speak on the CR because I haven't worn it out like that because it's just something I'm gonna send back. Um, so I don't know what the CR is gonna do, but overall, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is just not my favorite. So we're gonna send these back. They are not gonna stay in my collection. I'm so sorry that I have to do that. But then again, I'm not because I'm I'm curating my collection to what I like and not I mean what I love and not what I like. So I'm not sorry. I just wish I would have been able to smell them in location. So this is the end, you guys. That was my un unpopular, unbiased, you know, probably gonna be hated opinion about these fragrances, which is okay. Fragrances work differently on different people depending on your body chemistry, but this collection just did not work for me. So they will be going back. And like I said, you know, put them together. They are beautiful, but I don't want to have to spend $200 on fragrances and have to bring them together to make one that's going to, that, that I do love. Um, Velvet Santal is a definite no for me. Uh, Silk Santal is a, it's a like. It's not anything pressing that I have to have. If you made it to the end, I want to say thank you for watching. If you're a new viewer, you know, hit the subscribe button. Consider sticking around. Uh, also, drop a comment down below letting me know your scent of the day. And if you have these fragrances or have smelt these fragrances, let me know how you feel about them. I really, really want to know. And until next time, bye.